The Great Train Race is a popular annual event in Port Elizabeth. Teams of relay runners pit themselves against the Apple Express in a frantic bid to cross the finish line at Lury first. Garnering local support for the Apple Express through the publicity of events like this is of great importance to the Apple Express Society. The train is an item of South African heritage that needs to be kept alive in the public mind. But the long-term future will require much more than that, and from sources much further afield. A German cruise ship slides into Port Elizabeth Harbour. She is to meet the Apple Express at the quayside, where her passengers will board the train for a day's excursion along the narrow gauge. I think a lot of our strength is going to lie with overseas tourism. We've had approaches now from America. We actually got bookings already later on this year for, for tours from Europe and things. And, um, you know, they can, they can spend a day in PE and we can take them out or they'll engage us to take them out and you know, be part of their, their tours and that sort of thing. From the tourists and things that we've had, they, uh, they're, they're absolutely enthralled by, by going out by steam again. You know, it brings back memories of the past and it's the whole concept of, of narrow gauge travel, slow and keeping going what used to run in the past. But what used to run in the past has to keep itself going in the present. Nowadays, heritage has to earn its own keep. The number one restraint is always finance. The cost of running the Apple Express is, is very high. Steam locomotives require a lot of work. Spares and maintenance are things that you don't come by readily. The restoration of a locomotive is exceptionally high. Uh, if you need a new boiler, we're talking phenomenal figures here. We're talking telephone numbers. We need some sort of recognition that the Apple Express is a, a tourist thing. It's an attraction. And if they wish to keep it running, uh, we need some sort of financial assistance. What the Apple Express really needs is a large monthly passenger loading. And it will only get that from the boost of overseas tourism. I read very enviously of um, some of the British privatised railways having a quarter of a million passengers in one year, or 150,000 passengers in one year. I mean, that's astronomical. I mean, they might have 7,000 passengers or 10,000 passengers in one day. That's our annual passenger loading is probably between seven and 10,000. <laughs> Uh, for you, double the price. No, not to worry. Yes. I need postcard. No, no, no. Postcard, please. Yes. <laughs> That's what I said. Postcard. The third or the fourth. <laughs> With this long scenic railway on its doorstep, the Eastern Cape province has a unique tourism opportunity. The key to the future is to provide the general tourist public of South Africa, people coming from overseas, to give them a steam experience. We can create a steam experience in South Africa, second to none in the world. To travel on a train, that's great. You know, at, you relax, you're not under pressure, you're not driving. And with a steam engine up front, smack in the eye, smell of coal smoke. Just the joyous noise of a magnificent machine. You know, 
doing what it, what it does best is to hold happy people <laughs> in a train, you know, into the sunset. <laughs>